Hey, hey, all right, guys. Happy Thanksgiving and day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday. So I want to start with something today that maybe isn't like the typical like nutrition and weight loss, but I wanted to start with something that like, you know, no matter what your day was yesterday, no matter who you spent it with, no matter how different it was, no matter what kind of voids were missing, my dad sent me a message yesterday morning. Maybe he's not always the most optimistic person with certain things, but he said, no matter what we're missing today, we have so much to be thankful for. And he's right. And so that's what I want to start with today is like, guys, no matter what you did yesterday, how things varied from different years, no matter what you were missing, no matter what you had, no matter whatever it was, there's still something to be thankful for. And if you don't know what to be thankful for, be thankful for joining me this morning. Oh, there's your hug. All right. So let's go on. Let's get started with this. So the biggest thing I want to tell you guys today is like, we are the ones who always overcomplicate things when it comes to weight loss, nutrition, metabolism, and all that stuff. Here's what I want you to remember. No matter what you ate yesterday, it's in the past. No matter what you ate yesterday, we can undo in the future. So the whole idea is you really need to focus on like, how do I get food to process the best? And that only happens with movement. And normally when we're thinking about weight loss and stuff like that, we think about taking calories away. But what I also want you to realize is like activity helps you burn more calories throughout the course of multiple days. The other thing is the more you use your muscles to do these different activities, your body has to burn more calories to recover over the following days too. So here's the couple things I want you to take away today. It's not going to sound earth shattering. You're going to be like, I've heard this before. And the question I ask you then is, have you done these things before? So here's what I'm telling you. Be more active today. If you're going on Black Friday shopping, park in the back of the parking lot. You might have to anyway because of traffic and crowds and stuff like that, but park further away. Go for some sort of activity or walk or something like that later on in the day. I'm also going to include a workout here down below that give it a try. The whole idea is like moving more, getting your body active and using those muscles. It's going to allow you to eat more food. So the whole idea is like we normally talk about eating less food through November and December. And that's what we've been talking about with intermittent fasting, some of these things in the coaching group, because we know from nine years of experience, our average client goes from about 3.6 workouts a week to 2.4 or five workouts a week during these holiday months. That's a difference of about one to 1.1 workouts per week. Might not seem like a difference, but our average client gains a little over two pounds during those two months. So the average American gains between five, eight, and 10 pounds. So the activity is what leads to less weight gain. So if your expectations are to lose weight, you better step up that activity, maybe decrease the food and find yourself somewhere in that happy medium. But if you are just trying to maintain, maybe drop a pound or two, maybe tighten up just a little bit before the, the Christmas and New Year uh, comes around, you need to use your body. You need to lift a little bit. You need to use some body weight exercise, maybe some squats at home. But the more you stimulate that, your body all day long just has to burn food. So instead of taking away food, maybe let's try and stepping up the activity. So that's number one. The second thing is just nourish your body with some good foods today. So, you know, you're going to have obviously some leftovers and some different things sprinkled in throughout the day, but make sure you're having, you know, going back a little bit more to your staple meals of having a protein shake, having a good balanced meal with some protein and vegetables, not eating too many carbs when they're not the carbs that you're eating for or indulgence in those things, okay? So that's the, the second part there. The third is drink more water. So, and I know I've said this before, but here's the thing that happened yesterday is you had so much extra sodium than what you're used to. You also had so much extra butter and things that have sodium hidden in them that you're also not used to. You also had a bunch of sugar and carbs and different things that has made your blood sugar spike overnight and then poof, drop hard when you wake up this morning. So your body's going to think that you're really hungry all throughout today. And really, you probably need to hydrate. And you're probably super dehydrated in your body. So drink more water than you ever have today. You're going to notice even if you're out shopping, you're not going to have to pee like crazy because your body's going to try to hold on to it a bit. So don't worry about your weight or anything else today. Again, like we're not going to undo yesterday, but we're going to make it right in the next two days. So the whole idea is drink as much fluids as you can. Stay active eat some healthy foods. And then what you're going to notice is on Monday, you're not going to be heavy like you normally are in your heaviest weight of the week like you are on most weeks. Because on this week, your cheat meals happen on Thursday and Friday. So what's going to happen is by Saturday, Sunday, you're now going to burn those excess calories off. If we stay moving, if we stay hydrated, Monday, you're going to actually be in a lower weight than you were Thursday going into the day. And the whole idea, guys, again, is to net zero for these whole two months. That's what I came to you guys with at the beginning of this thing. It's like, don't gain any weight for the next two months. If you can do that, you win. Now, if you lose a couple pounds, hell yeah, like celebrate it. Be proud of yourself. But at the same time, let's undo all the bad things that we've pre-wired in our head. We can't go back to yesterday. We can't undo yesterday. Let's make a dent going forward of every possible thing that we can do to make sure we're the healthiest possible version of ourselves going into 2021. So... 
move today. Do the exercise, do the workout I posted below or some form of it. Make sure you stay moving. Make sure you eat some healthy food between those sprinkled in cheat meals that you have today with some leftovers. And then make sure you stay hydrated to avoid those hunger cravings and to basically make sure that your body is avoiding those extra snacks, taste, all those other things because you confuse dehydration for hunger. Outside of that, guys, let's have a great weekend. I'll probably come back to you one more time with another tip as questions come in and stuff throughout this. But if there's anything else that you want to hear about, make sure you drop in the comments below. If you want to share what you ate yesterday, drop in the comments below. If you need to vent, drop it in the comments below. We're all here for each other, guys. Let's make this happen. See ya.